Fellas, squad, guys. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Welcome to episode three. We in the cave. Hey, we in the cave. Hey, guys, time to get real. <laughs> So y'all just watched the game, Celtics versus Heat, game six. Bruh, I'm upset. <laughs> oh, man, why they get me crunk like that, man? Somebody explain to me, man. Yeah, I know I'm having a couple bears. You know, the game is going, how it's going. It's whatever, early in the game. But in the fourth quarter, with about three minutes left, we up. Almost 10. What, eight? How many points was we up? Almost 10? So we was up almost 10 points, man, and then something happened. Right at that moment, man. And you know what I think it was? I picked up my phone, man. We was up 10. I picked up my phone. I went to Bobby's stream, and I dropped some uh, custom emojis. You know the Celtics emojis? As soon as I did that, we were doomed, yo. Soon as I dropped those custom Celtics emojis, <laughs> they came back, yo. Oh my God. Guys, I'm like this right now. I don't even understand, guys. Y'all don't even understand how I'm feeling right now. You feel me? It's bad. So I gotta have a smoke break while I do this. This time in the cave. You feel me? All right, so this is what I think about it, man. Let's just be honest, man. Celtics could have won that game, period. But at the end of the day, we don't really have a banging-ass team. We got a bunch of young, good players. But we don't have a bunch of stars. You feel me? We don't have a bunch of stars. or We don't even have one, one go-to guy where it's like, yo, we in crunch time. Give him the ball. Let him make something happen. Jason Tatum's not that kid right now. Don't get me wrong. I've been talking about him all season. He's a he's an all star. He's good, but he needs that. He needs that player. Y'all know we need that player. And even though whichever team out the East went to the finals, we already know the Lakers finna win the championship. Don't play with me. I'm thinking the Lakers gonna sweep the Heat, man. That's my call, right? That's my prediction right now. Y'all wanna know what I'm predicting? Lakers. Are gonna stomp out the heat. You know, I got my hair uh wrapped up, man, because I was it was hot out here, man. I was sweating, you know what I'm saying? I had to I had to fucking tie it up a little bit better. But the Lakers about to beat these guys in four games. I mean, in the comment section, y'all tell me if y'all think it's gonna go any different. I don't see it going any different. They're not gonna if they win one game, I'll be surprised. I'll be I'll, I'll make an episode on the cave where I say, shout out to the heat because they're better than I thought they were. But if they get swept, then they are. Who we thought they were, all right? That's a hundred percent fact. They beat us one twenty five to one thirteen. But check out my boy Gordon Hayward's stats though: five for twelve, two for five threes, one rebounds, two assists, with twelve points. Bro, how you not even starting though? Then we pay this nigga $95 million. Why is he coming off the bench? Cancer didn't do shit. Three points. Coach's decision to didn't pay. He didn't play uh, Ojale or Jeff Green. Jason Tatum was nine for 26. Three for 10 on threes and 24 points. He played 44 minutes. <sighs> Canter played eight minutes. You should have put the big body in there longer. I mean, we had a lot of mess ups, man. Mark is fucking smart, man. Eight for 22, four for 13 threes. Can I get something off my chest about Mark is smart? Can I do that for a minute? I mean, me being a you know a fan of the team. 
I cannot stand when this nigga shoots the ball in clutch time in the game. It never fails that something will be going down. It's two minutes left in the game, and Marcus Smart's Marcus Smart's weird ass would throw up a random ass three point shot, and it's always not gonna land. I already know. As soon as I see him dribbling the ball down the court, please pass the ball. Please pass. It. I'm in my in my house. Please pass the ball. Please don't let this nigga shoot the ball. Please don't let this nigga shoot the ball. All I hear is Marcus Smart shoots, and he misses. Rebound by the Heat. <sighs> Bro, I just want to erupt when I hear that in the last final two minutes of a game. You are not the go-to guy. Somebody tell this man. You know what I'm saying? You're not the go-to guy. I don't care if it's whoever the go-to guy is at the moment. I don't I don't care who. Just give it to one of our top three players. Do not. I know you a good player. We know you a hustle player. You put your body on the line. You a defensive monster. That's good. I fuck with you. You can do all that. But in the last two minutes of the game, stop jacking up random ass three point shots. That's killing us. He's been killing us all season. Watch the games. I have that's my pet peeve. Y'all see, if y'all watch the Celtics game, the last two minutes of the game, you see Marcus Smart jack up a three and he misses it. That's my pet peeve. Just know when that happens, I'm at the crib going crazy. I'm at the crib going crazy like this, just like this. God damn it. No! <sighs> but it's not just Marcus Smart. We could have played better as a team. We could have had a, you know, we could have had better performances from some players. So we lose this year. But we'll be back next season. You know what I'm saying? Celtics always going to be in the in the you know Eastern Conference Finals you know discussion you know what I'm saying let us make a couple of trades so that we get one star player get rid of fucking Gordon Hayward's big ass contract we got a 95 million dollar guy sitting on the fucking bench why I have no idea why that's that's one of the worst decisions the Celtics hey girl I'm in the cave girl I'm in the cave I'm in the cave I need you coming back here. I'm having a serious conversation right now. God damn it. Now, now BD got to deal with my attitude because we lost. God damn it. Whole house got to deal with my attitude. Shit. But yeah, just being real, to be 100% honest about it, if we think about it, I didn't see us beating the Lakers in the finals, man. Come on, man. They had LeBron and AD. I didn't, y'all know my song. I didn't even release it on my channel yet, but I'll drop it for y'all one more time. I get right back in the ring like I never left. And I come in with a better rep. It's Nitro the Kid, I'm benevolent. So I'ma help you get to where you never been. On the ride through the beat, but your head is spin. Bar spit a boy, I'm a 9-8 veteran. But you know me, OG with the OG. No, I gotta keep a jar of medicine. Like AD playing with LeBron in LA, I'm better than I ever been. I need 60 million subs on YouTube, um, and I'm never settling. All right, that's all I'm gonna get right now. But that's a fact. Like AD playing with LeBron in LA, I'm better than I ever been. Okay? He's better than he's ever been, obviously. He's on a stage with somebody that's facilitating. You know what I'm saying? He got a he got a motherfucking Robin, if you want to call LeBron a Robin. LeBron is Batman in that bitch. But he letting AD be the Batman and he's killing it. They're gonna sweep the heat. I said it earlier in this in this uh episode. I say it again. They're gonna sweep the hell out of the heat. And the Celtics will be back next season. Hopefully, we make some great trades. We get rid of a couple of players. Hayward at the top of the list. Bring in a star player. I'm not talking about no washed up star. Don't bring in no Paul George. Don't bring in no. I'm not. He ain't washed up. But don't bring in no Paul George. Don't bring in no secondary top tier player. Bring in an actual star. You know what I'm saying? LeBron caliber. You know what I'm saying? We need a star like that. Somebody that we can give the ball to and say, do your thing. We ain't had a we ain't had a, Le- a LeBron or a Kawhi Leonard or somebody that we could just get a ball to and just tell them, go, since Paul Pierce. You know what I'm saying? Since Paul Pierce. Since uh, uh, KG and Ray Allen and them boys. We ain't had that. So I'm looking forward to next season. Hopefully, they front office on the Celtics is great. Hopefully, we make some good trades. And we'll be back to it next season, man. Uh, go ahead and leave your comments. Everybody gonna be leaving comments, talking crazy. You so talk that shit. All right, it's all good. We'll be back next season. Um, shout out to all the Celtics fan that that watched with us. Everybody that was, you know, rooting for us and shit. Uh, you know, we going home. We going out the bubble. But uh, like I said, the Heat ain't gonna do shit. 
got them Lakers in four. And uh, we'll see what happens next year, man. But actually, huge shout out to LeBron James. Y'all, like I said, I'm a LeBron fan. I've been a LeBron fan since forever, even when he was on the East Coast. But it was fuck Bron Bron whenever we was playing. But look at this man, man. Ten finals appearances, yo. He's crazy. I think the next, I think the person that had like the most franchise uh, finals appearances was like 13. You know, like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or some shit like that. I don't know who it was, but 13, yo. Y'all think he going to pass that? I tell you right now, if there don't be some mega trades and some teams step up, he gonna pass that shit, and he probably gonna catch up to goddamn uh, Jordan rings the way shit looking right now. The season, the teams are all fucked up. Everybody made huge mistakes in trades. P- teams got to get this shit together, or LeBron just gonna roll until his his beard is all gray. You know what I'm saying? He's just gonna be in the finals, grayed up, fucking smashing on niggas. As long as he got a team, like you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. But shout out to you guys, man. The season's over. This is the last time I'm speaking on the Celtics. So whatever you got to say to me about it, say it in the comments of this video. Um, I won't be talking about it in streams or none of that shit, so it's over. <laughs> we'll see you guys next season. Shout out to my motherfucking boys. Great season, though, man. We we shut it down. We uh, all right, I'm Too many teams. Ain't, ain't too many teams that can say shit to us unless you a Heat fan, a Lakers fan. I don't really give a damn about what you got to say because you ain't get as hard as us. So it is what it is. Um, and I'll see you guys for the stream later on. Big love to the squad, man. That's episode three of the cave. I'm just going to end it like this, man, because y'all, y'all, y'all know what it is, man. It's fucked up inside, y'all. Sad. We could be going to the finals right now. We could be going to the finals right now. Actually, no, not right now. We could be going to game seven, but <sighs> Lakers in four. That's how I feel about it. Big love to the squad, man. I'll see you guys in the stream. We out of here.